Hey guys, so, all right, check out my makeup today. I did two different things. Well, I did the same look, but I used two different things on each eye. Um, and I do have a mascara oops on each side. I didn't do that on purpose to plan it out. It just literally just happened that way. So, um, yeah, take a look at my eyes. See which one you think, which one you like better. And then stay tuned and watch the video and find out which one you chose. Okay. So what we're going to do today is, okay, obviously like the beauty guru industry, whatever you want to call it, on YouTube is blowing up right now. And that's because there's a lot of drama going on. And I'm not a gossip channel, so I'm sure you're all caught up on what I'm talking about. If not, just look it up. James Charles and Tati. I'm just saying. Um... But um, I'm not here to, you know, state my opinions or anything like that. Like I said, I'm not a gossip channel. I'm makeup, beauty, hair care. Sometimes I tell stories. <laughs> that sort of thing. But um, with all this um, drama and everything going on right now with um, James and Tati, um, it led me to think about something and that was that oh somebody is like super clingy today so we're just hoping that he's going to cooperate for the video anyways um and yes there's a huge mess behind me because one year old anyways yeah you you make messes um anyways i didn't even get ready today because uh you know like i just wanted to get this video done so um, anyways, I was thinking, you know, with all this drama going on and everything, um, what about James's makeup? You know, I've been hearing, um, my daughter actually, she'll be 13 in July, and, um, you know, she's up on all the drama also, and she was telling me about how people are destroying the James Charles palettes, you know, people are painting over them so that they can't you know, it doesn't show his logo and everything. And um, I just got to thinking. And I was like, you know, this palette was such a big deal. It was such a huge deal because James obviously had, we'll say for right now, a huge following. Um, but basically, um, you know, so this palette was really hard to get. Like, you know, it was sold out everywhere. People were having a hard time finding it, getting their hands on it. My daughter wanted it for quite a while, and it was always sold out. It was sold out online. It was sold out in the stores. Um, and then we finally, on our girls' day out, we finally came across one. We were at Ulta, and they had one left, and so she got it. So she's been playing around with it. And um, please don't choke on those. So... Um, and let me to think, uh, was this palette, is this palette really all it's cracked up to be? Or was it simply just, you know, the name that's on it? Which, you know, I feel like happens a lot. Like, don't get me wrong. I mean, <laughs> we do that with all kinds of things, you know. Makeup, um, clothes, shoes, don't eat that. Makeup, clothes, shoes, here, eat this. on my leg makeup clothes shoes um you know we do that all the time you know we like we like to have name brands you know and I don't think there's anything wrong with that but I wanted to put that to the test today so after blabbing for almost four minutes <laughs> um that's what we're gonna do let me do it this way we're gonna take my daughter's James Charles Morphe and James Charles palette and we're gonna be using my um, BH cosmetics take me back to Brazil now, I am not saying that this is a dupe for this, because it's not. They're different. Um, BH Cosmetics does have a couple different palettes. One in particular, I believe it's called the Ultimate Artistry Palette. Um, that's what I would say would be a little bit closer to this one. It doesn't have, oh, it doesn't have, like, his has, like, these large pans in the middle. It doesn't have those, but I would say that would probably be, like, the closest match. But there are a lot of similar shades in this and in this. Um, the Ultimate Artistry that I was just speaking about, I believe it's $28 on BH Cosmetics. 
website. Um, and James Charles is $39. This Take Me Back to Brazil is $20, I believe. But um, if you're not familiar with BH Cosmetics, they are constantly, constantly, like all the time having sales. So I believe you can pick up the Ultimate Artistry one right now, at least while I'm videoing this. It is currently, I want to say, $16.80. And they Take Me Back to Brazil, I want to say, is $15. So, yeah, so what, basically what we're going to do is we're going to pick out similar shades, the ones that match up pretty dang close from this palette and this palette. We're going to do one eye with this one and one eye with this one, and we're just going to see how they compare. So, let's get started. But to have a nice, um, fair, even playing field to start, oh boy. Something that I just had that I'm assuming a little hand got a hold of. Where did it go? What did you do with it? I'm not going to make you guys sit and wait for me to just hang on one second. Okay. Um, to give a nice even playing field, we're going to go over with this just this cheap LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in. It has an actual seashells. White, basically. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this all over our eyelid um, for two reasons. Like I said, it gives it, a, you know, both the same, you know, playing field to start with. And if you put white on first, it makes colors like pop a little bit more and be a little bit more vivid. So that's what we're going to do. Oh my gosh, this is just like crazy today. But, you know, what can you do? It's about the face, right? The face, the makeup. <laughs> so let's get started. We're just going to put this all over. I have one of those little bumps on my eyelid. It's been there like forever now. So if anybody knows how to get rid of it, comment below please. I'm going to bring that around a little bit. I did have to remove other makeup, so there is a hint of yellow in the corners of my eyes, but it's on both eyes, so, because, you know, when you get an idea, you gotta roll with it, right? feeling a little clownish right now, but that's okay. <laughs> that looks totally normal. Oh, there's something in my eye. Okay. All right, guys, let's get started. Now this may get a little lengthy, but that's simply because for the sake of what I'm doing, and with all the drama going on right now, I don't want anybody to think that, you know, I'm playing favorites, I'm touching everything, anything up off camera. So it's all going to be here, you know, live with you. So basically, we're going to start with a light pink. We're going to be using this one. It is pink. I know the, the sun doesn't, isn't on our side, but this is a very light pink. Pink. Let's see if I can get the. And we're going to be comparing it to this one up in the corner of the BH Cosmetics. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the BH Cosmetics first. I have a paper towel here. I am just dusting my brush off. And we are going to go into this color right here. And put that I think I got a little over generous with the white but what can you do yeah I was just thinking you know with all this drama going on 
I was instantly kind of like, what about his makeup? You know, I'm just really curious to see if, you know, just really how it compares. A lot of people call BH Cosmetics like a, more like they put it in the drugstore category. I don't do that. I consider it not high end, but not drugstore. I call it middle ground, middle ground makeup. Okay, we're just gonna dust our brush off because I wanna use the same one. So, we're just dusting it off on a paper towel. This little guy is making a mess behind me, but you know what? He's letting us do our thing, so how can we complain? And we are going in with James Charles. <laughs> now I went over, I'm trying to really get in there. It doesn't seem like it wants to pick up. There's kickback. Um, I went over the other side three times, so that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm really, I'm really digging into this. There's kickback coming up, so like I'm getting it. Yeah, this is my daughter's palette, so this is, she had kept saying to me, you know, Mom, when are you going to use my James Charles palette and make a video? And then, like, the drama kind of started a little bit ago, and um, I was like, you know what, there's kind of some drama going on, I'm going to, like, kind of hang back for a minute, and then the drama got bigger, and then I just, it just hit me. Like, why not compare it because of everything that's going on? And just see, like, when it comes to just the makeup, you know, how does it stand up? How does it compare? Okay, we're going to dust that off. I did three layers. The next color that we are going to do is we are going to go in with this shade on the BH Cosmetics and this shade on the James Charles try to hold those next to each other to compare. They're pretty close. I'm using the same brush the whole time. It's just BH Cosmetics, if I didn't say this, flat eyeshadow brush. Oops, sorry. Okay, that pink is so vibrant, we're only going to do twice it just doesn't need a third. So we're dusting it off. Make sure it's nice and clean. And now we're going to go into the James Charles palette down here in this pink. our second one so we're gonna dust that off I look totally normal right now <laughs> okay 
now we are going to take this purple from BH Cosmetics and this purple from James Charles. Let me try to put those together for you. Be pretty close. So we're just going to go in with that and put that out here. the third. Be nice to the kitty. Hold on. Be nice to the kitty. Sorry guys, I would have paused that for that, but I don't want you guys to think that I'm messing. Trey, no, no. You have to be nice to the kitty. She's in heat, so it's, she's a little bit extra vocal. I would have left you guys for that. I would have paused it so you, you know, but like, cause that doesn't have anything to do with makeup, but I don't want you guys thinking that I was messing with my face, so. All right, we're going to go in with James and this one. I don't know if I dusted off my brush. go into this one right here. Now oh, she's all worked up because she's in heat. Okay, we're going to put that Just... Would you two just get along? <sighs> Sorry. I know that probably sounded like absolutely horrendous, but I promise you it wasn't that bad. I would never let that happen. three on the other one, but so we're going to do three over here. Okay. I'm going to dust this off. Oh, there's like a hair tickling my nose.
Okay, we're going to go back into the um, Take Me Back to Brazil, and we're going to touch on this real light color, this light pink up here that we used. And we're going to put another coat of that on and blend it over that middle pink. Just, you know, to blend it together. We're going to dust that up. And we're going to go into the second color that we used over here. And put another coat of that on and blend it over. I guess we should have did that one first. Blend that over. So we'll have to dust that off. And go back in with this one and blend it over. Don't worry, I'll put two coats of the light on the James side. We're going to do the bright pink first over here. So we're going to dip into that and put another coat of that on and blend it over the purple. to go into this one again and put it over the beginning and we're going to give it its second coat so as to be fair Okay, we're going to dust that off, and I'm going to go in with this color on this palette, put that under our brow bone, and turn my paper towel around here, get to a clean side. And we're going to go into this color on this palette and put that under the brow bone on this side. Okay, now let's get our face on. I'm already crying. So we are just going to go in with our Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Still avoiding my nose piercing. If you're new to my channel, it was two weeks ago on Saturday, so we're still trying to keep it, you know, from getting makeup in it. Which is tricky. <clears throat> Where did my sponge go? There it is. Hi, Peanut. I know this doesn't exactly match my skin. I know. Where I bought the makeup at Dollar General, they didn't have a ton of shades. I picked the one that was going to work the best. It's a little dark, but summer's coming, and I'm obviously going to be tanner and darker, so we just roll with it. It's fine bronze and neck before we go anywhere. It's not a big deal. Oh, 
Can you just be good? Oh no, you and my conceiver earlier at home both up. Okay, Josie Marin, Argan Oil, Josie Marin Vibrancy. Argan Oil, what are you eating? What are you eating? What is it? Let me see. You can't eat that. You can eat this. Mmm. No, that's yummy. You can eat that. It's a Fruit Loop. Trying not to mess up our makeup here. Smooth out that edge, give it a nice edge. Okay, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm just putting my powder on. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh, what did you get your feet into? Okay, we're going to go in with the Kat Von D um, Powder Foundation in Medium 58. And I actually like to use this for a light bronzy contour. So it has a really nice finish because it's a powder foundation. And we got a bronze down our necks. Um, because we are like extra pasty this year. I need a tan so bad. This rain is making my allergies crazy. Remember how we talked about how you were going to be good when I made my video? Remember that? Okay, 
Okay, we're going to go in with our Juvia's Place loose highlighter. I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger first to run down my nose. Because it's the last thing we want to do is broaden our nose back out, you know? exactly what I need and I'm going to throw it because I'm going to take it off I hope. Maybe it's this one. Maybe I'll get lucky and you have the old one. Nope. I'm going to have to show you. Here. I'm going to need this one. You take this one. Okay. We're just going to line up our eyes here. Oh crap. I blinked. sucks that I blinked on that side. Oh, I don't understand. Uh, Bug me on that side. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. Oh, my goodness. He's trying to eat my makeup. What a day, you guys. How oh, did I end up with my liner down there? Line our water line. And we need some mascara. This is eyeliner's messed up. Oh. oh, I got makeup on my eyeball. Can you guys see that? It's cute. Uh. Yeah, see his face? He's trying to eat a contour stick. You were trying to eat a contour stick. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just did a matching one on that side. Go freaking figure. Oh, we'll let that dry for a minute and scrape it off. Do eyebrows in the meantime, huh? This just video is just going to hell in a handbasket, huh?
gonna stick a lip color on before we oh goodness there's contour stick everywhere <laughs> We're going to use the um, Too Faced Melted Latex in the first lipstick. See if we can get this. Well, that is what it is. <laughs> but um at least there's a matching one on each side so basically this is our finished look guys ignore the little mascara oopses just look at the rest of the makeup don't put mascara on with a one-year-old climbing on you <laughs> um so yeah what do you guys think come closer my two cents. I think that they are very, very, very similar. Um, where's my mirror? My little mirror so I can look up close. Okay, the light pink was obviously a little bit of a disappointment on this eye, uh, which is the Jane side. And, you know, I'm sure that was visible when I was putting it on. It just, like, it just didn't, I don't know. I don't know. So the light's definitely better over here. Now I have to, what are you doing now? Okay. So um, now the pink, the bright pink in the middle, it, James's is a little bit more pigmented, just kind of stands out as a little bit more oomph. The purples are pretty close, I'd say. James's is slightly more pigmented, you know? So I'd say these ones are slightly bolder, except for the light color. The light color is way better over here. Now, I do believe that the BH Cosmetics side blended a little bit better, where James's is a little bit more, and where they did blend, it's ever so slightly muddy, but not. So like, these are really bright, very disappointed in the light. The light's incredible over here, you know, and the brights, they're still there. They're definitely still vibrant, just not quite as vibrant as James's. So basically in a nutshell, you guys, that's, you know, it's pretty dang close and all I can stare at is those mascara spots. Um, it's pretty close, I'd say. So, you know, that's, leave that up to you, however you decide. <laughs> Um, you know, whatever you think, you know, that's my two cents on the whole thing. Um, yeah, so they both had kickback, um, in the palette, so that's the same. Um, yeah, so that's what I think, you guys, you know, pretty dang close. Not, not identical, you know, like, like I said, I picked out, you know, what I thought about each individual one. Um, but you know, pretty close. So take that as you will, you guys. This is my comparison of the James Charles palette compared to BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil. So that's it. Tell me what you guys think. Leave your comment, you know, which one you think is better, your two cents, you know, and that's it for today. Um, so thank you for, you know, putting up with me, dealing with somebody being a handful today. Yeah. You're kind of bad today. You're kind of bad today. Yeah, so 
that's it for today. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. We have, you know, we always have something going on around here. Huh. And they're not always bad days like today. And um, so that's it. That's all I have for you today, you guys. I will see you next time. Bye. Yeah.